My friend Stella was a go-getter. The type of girl that didn't like to wait in line for anything. Yo. see. So when were you going to tell us about the scholarship thing? Oh, this one. Come on, I don't want to talk about that now, please. Oh, you mean you don't want to show her that you're better than that? Why don't you mind your business, Desmond? Why don't you shut up, Stella? Yeah, that's my left here. Here comes the hero. Ready to save the girls. You can save the girls, but can you save your grades? <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you drawing? I'm just um, scribbling some stuff. That does not look like scribbling. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you for the hard time with Desmond. Oh, it's nothing. I mean, he was doing too much. Had to calm him down a bit. Um, so, I know that you and AC have been friends since childhood, but I don't know. Do you have feelings for her? No, oh, Stella, no. It's like a sister to me. So, you can't like your sister? Is that what you're saying? I just don't see her like that. So, do you see me like that? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> um, so I'm seeing you at Essie's little birthday get together thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I see you. Hey. Stella, wait, wait. Um, I wanted to give you What do you mean by so? Are you going to explain to me who you were on the phone with last night? Oh, well, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. But then there's um, so there's this guy, um, from church. <laughs> I, I'm sure I've mentioned him before, though. The choir leader. Yes, him. So, he came to my house. Were you alone? Yes. What did you guys do? Nothing. You're lying. <laughs> well, he asked me to be his girlfriend. What are you doing? Take this. Keep it. Whenever you and him, you know, do it, take these, okay? Oh, Jesus, Stella. I, I said we didn't do anything. And then this as well. Stella, look, if I am going to do anything, I will get these myself. <laughs> Child, you're 16. Do you know how hard it is to get this here? Stella was just looking out for me, like she always does. Her mother was the local pharmacist, so she knew a lot about these things. So did the human reproductive
Stella. I thought you were someone else. What? What are you doing? Are you pregnant? <laughs> what? Are you pregnant? Oh, so that's why you're standing here doing all of this. Essie, are you pregnant? Yes or no? Don't let me ask again. You did it with that guy, right? The guy from your church. Yes or no? Stella, please. Essie, look, it's me. You can talk to me. Just tell me. Calm down, Essie. You can't talk to me. Why didn't you use the contraceptives I gave you, eh? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Does Auntie Mavis know? Okay, fine. That's probably not a good idea. What are you going to do now? I don't know, Stella. I don't know. Do you want to have a baby? Stella, you have to help me. I really don't know what to do. You don't know if you want to keep it or... Or? Abort it. <laughs> Take you there, okay? Okay. Stella was just looking out for me, like she always does. My next steps now seem certain. <coughs> or not. There are some friends who know what we're going through without us opening our mouths. That was Stella. For confidential discussions on your health, Download the YMK app or call Marie Stopes today at 0800-208-585. You can also send a WhatsApp at 0244-208-585.